What's going on everybody? It's Wade with Swamp Donkey Archery. So, this video is going to be about the new uh, Athens Vista 33 and my build on it. So, if you're interested in how I built this one, uh, the equipment that I used, what I set it up with, uh, stick around. That's what we're about to go for. Vista 33. Um, I have already done an unboxing and review on the bow. Uh, if you hadn't already seen it, I'm going to post a link in the video right here. Go check that out first before you watch this one. That way uh, you can kind of get the gist of what's going on because this is kind of a continuation of that one. So uh, the originally in the video I was going to do the unboxing and assembly, uh, kind of the products I was putting on it, and then the actual review and shooting it a little bit, but the video got to being a little bit long, so I shortened it up by cutting this section out, and plus I didn't have everything done that I was wanting to do to get to it, you know, I didn't have my rear stabilizer mount, I was going to build some new strings and stuff like that, so that's what this video is going to be about, it's going to be... Uh, the assembling first time setup and uh, kind of showing you what the draw pull was on it and stuff like that as far as peak weight holding weight and all that and then uh, I will show you what the bow looks like all said and done all right we're gonna try to get the rest and everything installed on this thing and uh, I ain't gonna make a super detailed one we're just gonna kind of get it going and uh, get it together. I'll do another video one day about uh, setting up some of the other things. I've already done a few when it comes to tying D loops and stuff. I'm not liking how that one's going in there. There we go. All right, so the rest I'm using is this Hamsky, uh, it's a Hamsky Hybrid hybrid hunter pro i've done shot this rest about two or three years and have had zero issues out of this rest so i'm going to keep rocking this thing um like i said i'm putting this one together i'm setting it up for myself and matter of fact we've got our turkey season coming up in just a couple of weeks so i'm hoping i can get this thing together Try to smoke the turkey with it. Alright, and we're gonna get the string. So I'll do all this off camera. So this little string goes to it's a limb driven rest. It goes on. Maybe you can see that there's a little bar on this back side. Uh, spring here. I'm gonna tie it from the spring to the bottom limb. I'll do that. I'm gonna turn this. What y'all think about this uh Baker Archery Products advice right here. This thing has made my life a lot easier out here. So I'm hoping I can get this done before all this rain comes in and it starts drowning me out. So that's what I'm trying to get done. I'm trying to run through it real quick. Uh, the sight I'm put on it, the same one I had on that Ridge 34. This is a uh, Viper, just a single pin movable. Uh, I had good luck out of it earlier in the season. It was uh, uh, done. All right, back on track. Got the right, right bolts for it. This does have two sets of tapped holes in the riser, so you got a little bit of uh, adjustability there on uh, how you set your sights and everything up.
I'll be running the CBE tactic quiver on this. I had good luck at it over the hunting season. I may come up with a different one before uh, deer season this year because it's going to be my deer hunting rig as well. Uh, but we're definitely using this bad boy like it is right now. So, and now we're going to set our D loop. Here. All right, so I cut my little length of D loop. Go ahead and burn one end of it. Get that ready. Snap my air on. We're gonna get this bow level. This is just how I set my D loops. Some people may do it a different way, but this is how I do it. And I am planning on building a custom set of my strings for this bow as well. So I'm not. Once I do this, I'm going to build strings and then we're going to uh, have to redo all this. But I'm still wanting to get it set up so y'all can see it before I worry about doing all that. Sorry, I'm trying to hurry and beat that rain. Cause it gets really noisy in here when that rain starts beating on that tin. Alright, got my D-loop started. I'm gonna put that bad boy about where it looks like. Use my air level and put it on here. So I've got my bow set level this way and this way. Got my air on here. It's running right in front of the uh, burger hole. Got it where I like it. I'm gonna turn her up this way. And we're gonna finish that D loop. not being super technical about my D-loop right now because like I say I'm just going to put different strings on this thing anyway. There. All right there's your D-loop so now all I got to do is I'm going to tie this string in and this thing will be ready to shoot. All right, as y'all can see, you got the uh, strings and stuff built and put on here. Um, I'm fixing to put my D-loop on and uh, kind of get it set up close before I start trying to tune it. So I got this new little, it's a little, uh, kind of like a necklace that you can put the phone on the video with. So I'm trying to see how this goes. So y'all can get more of a bird's eye view of what I'm doing. So, we're going to tie a D-loop on real quick. Get some D-loop material. Hope that air conditioner ain't too loud blowing right there. And first... I'll just go ahead and tie it on, slide it down, get it close. Uh, Y'all, I'm telling you, if you got a shop and you ain't got you one of these uh, Baker Archery products, vices, y'all missing out. 
so we're gonna put my air leveler on there this on here i'm gonna get the bow level That. Now I'm gonna get my arrow level. Then I'm gonna look and see if it's right through the middle of the burger hole. It's pretty close. It may be a little high, but that's gonna be a good starting point for me. So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna finish this D loop. Then we're gonna get ready to shoot through some paper. All right, I'm gonna get my peep sight in here now. I decided to go with this uh, Hamsky Insight uh, Raptor peep. It's got the uh, 3 16 hole in it. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this kind of close. And we're gonna put this bad boy in there and then I'm gonna Start getting her ready. I want to go ahead and put the peep in before I tune it. So, goes ahead and takes in the account for the uh, extra weight and stuff like that you put on the string with the peep sight. So, this in here, and I'm probably going to put me a nose button on here as well. Let's see how that's going to sit it after I put it in there looks like I'm gonna have to spin it uh, where's out of frame there we go I'll spin it once I took the tension off the string the string kind of spun a little bit so get the peep facing that way I'm gonna spin this I don't ever snug my D loop super super tight until after I get my uh, peep and everything set where I want it. All right, I'm getting getting closer. All right, so a few months ago, if I would have saw you with the nose button on your bow, I would have been laughing at you. But after I finally shot one of these things. I really dig it. I used to shoot a uh, kisser button back years ago, and uh, now that I finally shot one of these, I really like it. So I'm just gonna like lightly tie this in, just enough uh, resistance on it to where I can set it where I need to, and I'm gonna set my peep sight. And then we're gonna go from there. Get on there. There we go. All right. I want to show y'all this. This bow weighs. Hopefully you can see that. Six point nine pounds. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna see what our draw is. And simultaneously check my timing. Make sure my timing looks good. What I'm looking for on my timing is making sure that this stop right here, let me turn this down just a little bit. This stop right here is hitting on the same side over here at the same, same time. So, and I want to show you that look we are totally off of that bow so that means we're holding at least less than 6.9 pounds now bow is off of it now uh, let's redo that it didn't like that one hang on a second probably messed around with it too much so there's the lid off back up there we go let me show you these numbers here 60.4 pounds holding 6.3 not bad all right so that was the build on this new vista 33 i want to show you what she looks like all finished 
with everything on it. Man, I tell you what, this is a good looking rig. And it shoots just as good as it looks. Y'all get a look at it all the way around, then I will tell you everything that I have on here. Alright, so starting with the bow, Vista 33. 60 pounds, uh, wound up stretching it out to a uh, 29 inch draw. So the numbers that I give you in the review probably going to be a little faster now. I hadn't shot it through the graph, so I'm guessing I probably picked up about 10 feet a second. So that's the bow. The sight I'm running on it is the Viper uh, single pin with the dovetail on it. Uh, it's got a 19 thousandth pin. I can't shoot them 10 thousandths no more because these old eyeballs right here can't focus like what they used to. Uh, doing the Hamski uh, Hybrid Hunter Pro Air Rest. I've personally used this rest about three years, uh, shooting tournaments and hunting with it, and I have not had one single malfunction out of this rest due to, due to uh, performance issues from the rest itself. Uh, while we on Hamski, running the Hamski uh, Raptor peep, so 3 16th uh, hole peep. We are running the CBE Tactic 5 Air Quiver. Uh, I like this quiver, it's got a quick disconnect. You just flick that little lever right there up and then the quiver comes right off. I'm one of those guys that like to pull my quiver off once I get up in my tree stand. Uh, running the Bee Stinger, um, I think this is a 10 inch front bar. Just got one ounce of weight on the front. I got the uh, shrewd disconnect for it. We're running the eight inch back bar, got three ounces of weight on it, uh, running the doinker, uh, back bar bracket for it, and I guess that's all the accessories I got on it. I'll be shooting the gold tip kinetic pierce 340s. Uh, I've got this rigged up to go turkey hunting right now, so I'm just shooting a 100 grain uh, two blade expandable B3 exoskeleton for the, uh, the broadhead right there um then i put uh we did the the uh, nose button bone our nose button and these are my custom strings on it uh hopefully you can see the the color on those right there i wanted to do something that was going to kind of match the bow but still be kind of bright and flashy without being bright and flashy so we went with the uh stone gray Fader black with the flow green pin. Uh, the flow green kind of gets real close to blending with the green in the trees in. The gray definitely meshes and the black's gonna mesh with anything else on here. So, yeah, that's it. This bad boy in a nutshell. So, y'all stay tuned. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, after this weekend, I can get you a video of me slaying a turkey with this thing. So, anyhow, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know if you got any other questions about the bow. Uh, look me up on all my social media platforms, Swamp Donkey Archery, on Instagram and Facebook. So, other than that, turkey season's about to open up. At least right now it is. I don't know when y'all watching the video. So, if it's, I don't know, November, December, and turkey season's not opening up for you, sorry. But right now it's uh, March 30th, and turkey season's about to open. So, anyhow. Y'all have a good one. Let me get back on this tangent and tell y'all goodbye. Y'all have a good one. See you.